selling drugs. On the introduction, one dollar. What I have here is Oreo cookies, famous Amos cookies. You've seen them on the train selling candy for a dollar. Some make as much as fifty-five thousand dollars a year. Alex tracks McFarlane, aka Candyman, makes a hundred and fifty dollars a day, six to seven days a week, and that adds up to roughly fifty-five thousand dollars a year. I was very well taken care of as a child, but I wanted my own money, and everything I wanted, I had to wait for mommy to get paid, and I couldn't wait that long, so I started selling candy. He started when he was 11 years old. Now the 25-year-old is selling to support his family and sometimes to splurge on expensive $300 shoes. This is what y'all buy me. This is what I do with my money. I buy $300 sneakers. Video of tracks has gone viral from The Gothamist to New York Magazine and... In AOL, I went to check my email and when I went on it, it popped up in the recent news. It's great. I'm about to say, I said I'm about to start selling candy. He makes more than I make. <laughs> And the video journalist who got him famous has this to say. Great for him because he's making a fortune out of sugar. I think people pay for the entertainment more than the candy. But not everything is sweet like candy. This lady said she wasn't buying my candy because I don't pay taxes. I looked at her and smiled and said I follow her. Trax doesn't pay tax on profit he makes and the MTA prohibits sales on the train. Customers on this train, however, don't seem to mind. This is Maria Sandoval for the New York Post.